Hi, I'm Patrick with Just Got Played. I'm in the middle of my U.S. tour, and I'm in Florida somewhere. Where am I specifically? Coral Springs, Florida. I'm at Coral Springs, Florida with Michelle and Alex, and specifically we're at... Loot Games and Comics in yep. Coral Springs. Loot Games and Comics are on 10267 West Sample Road. In here in Florida, very close to Funky Buddha Brewing Company. Yeah. Um, you guys, this is an incredible game shop. How long have you been here? So we've been in this location since January. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that, we were... We started out upstairs, actually, up the stairs, through the door, down a hallway, around the corner, in a literal closet, almost, and then moved down here. Nice, bigger, brighter, happier location. Oh, there's a lot more floor space, obviously, here yeah. than your last location, and lots of gaming space. About how many butts fit in seats over here? About 50. About say, yeah, we've got two rooms. We can fit about 20, 25 in each one. Some comfortable couches in case if anyone's come over yeah. later and make out with me. I'll be over here on the couch. Not you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so it's also a game shop. You're also selling games and comics. Um, what do you see hitting the table most of the time here at the store? Um, I would say the biggest thing or the biggest draw is Dungeons & Dragons. Woohoo! It's yeah. not Magic the Gathering no, or no. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I mean, those are great games and I love the fact that everybody has them. But every other store in the country is selling tons and tons of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, Magic the Gathering and Pokemon. So, lots of Dungeons & Dragons, lots of role players here in the Fort Lauderdale area. Plethora. Plethora. Yes, yeah. very many. And not just that, but the big box board games too. Scythe, Terraforming Mars, those hit the table pretty often too. Sweet, but we're not just a board gaming store here. We are also a... We, yes, we have a beer and wine bar also. we the only game and comic shop in South Florida right now that also serves beer and wine. Not just any beer and wine. Craft uh, beer yes, and wine. craft beers and wine. We got Funky Local Buddha. Brew. On draft we have from Banging Banjo Brewery in Pompano. Say that three times fast. No. <laughs> Banging Banjo Brewery. All right, so, but you don't serve food. No. Well, we have snacks, chips, things like that, candies, but not solid food. But we have some great places in the area that do have food. Like, I noticed that when I pulled in. Could you name a couple of the places that are nearby? We've got Augie's. That's actually in our plaza. They have a very wide selection of Italian foods, and there's something from there in the store almost every night that the customers are bringing in. So when you're here for events, and we're going to touch on that next, you have lots of places, restaurants, whatever, if you're in, here for an extended period of time, playing games, you can always run over one of these restaurants. Yep. There's great, lots of great craft beer on tap. So talking about events specifically, what events do you do here? Uh, we do about a once a month social gaming night where we do Werewolf, Two Rooms in a Boom, all those games that host a large amount of people that's really hard to get going in your house with just your friends bring people all together to do them and then works out really good. Um, we just had free comic book day this past weekend on yep, Saturday. Just coming up for free comic book day? Yes. <laughs> and he's stealing her beer. It's yes. totally fine. It's totally fine. Okay. You talk more then. <laughs> yeah. At least he didn't drink out of a bottle. Uh, yeah, we just came off a free comic book day. We have various events that we do, social gaming. Um, but we're not just a gaming shop. I mean, we also do comic books. Mm -hmm. And we have a pretty extensive library that customers are allowed to come in and browse and read. You don't have to buy them. You just have to drink beer and read them. So you can come in here, buy a beer, and read your comic books? Yes. yes. We have a member's library for the comic books. So you can get your subscriptions for your comics. You don't have to get your nice pristine comic all fingerprinted up. Sit yeah. down and enjoy ours. And you could even try new titles you may have not tried yeah. before. Um, but we also have a pretty big board, board game library. Yes. How many titles are in that? I would say over 100, some say 200, somewhere in between that. They're always, we're always constantly cycling in games and mm -hmm. getting new stuff on the table. That's outstanding the fact that people can come in here, get a couple of drinks, and then be able to try out a new board game or be able to read a comic, especially that might be a new title. That's amazing. I've never been in a place like that before. At Cloak and Blaster, you can, you can take titles off the shelf and play them, but not read the comic books. That's absolutely incredible. Yes. Yeah. Very much want to get people in the door to read comics, and it's hard to do that if you gotta take them out to do it. So come in and read ours. What are the uh, what are the hours for the shop? Because you have to be open fairly late at night, right? Yes. Right now we're currently only closed one day a week, Monday. Yeah, um, we're, we're currently only closed Monday. Um, we are trying out some new hours as well. So we're doing Tuesdays from five to eleven. Wednesdays we're opening from noon to eleven, correct? Yeah. Uh, Thursdays and Fridays is also 5 to 11. That's a soft number. Saturdays are... Is 1 to 11. Sunday is noon to 8. Yeah. 
So we are open pretty late. <laughs> but if you're here drinking constantly, I mean, we can serve till 2 a.m. Yeah. So then if that's you give a us a reason about. to stay open later, you can stay later. Like if you're here playing a game with you specifically and drinking some beers. Mm -hmm. Oh, the drinking of the beer helps well, a lot. We've oh, done sure. all-nighter events too where we've had people come in and Actually, stay all night, play games. We did Dungeons & Dragons After Dark. This is the greatest really name. D&D After Dark yes. was fantastic. Is there a pajama rule? Like, is it... Well, I had pajamas on. Some other people did. You don't have to. <laughs> as long as you have something on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I found my new spot. You guys let me know next time that happens. Thank you very much for having me. I'm Patrick Just Got Played. This is Michelle and Alex, and we are at Loot Games and Comics. Yep. In Coral Springs, Springs Florida. Florida. Coral Springs, Florida. Thank you very much for watching. The Manhattan Project, Energy Empire, number one engine builder of all time. Harness the Earth's resources. An instant classic for worker placement games. Develop your economy. Manage your environmental impact. The number three game of 2016. On sale now at MinionGames.com.